Hello again. In this video I'm just going to show you how to do how to do the very very basic setup of the CMS system which is the central management system. Um, first of all the disk you get with your machine uh, just put it into your PC uh, when you open it up you will get um, this menu here you've got your full user manual which is really quite handy if you really wanted to go into using this system in a big way a quick setup guide which is what I used and then the actual CMS uh, program itself which is where you click on and then you download it onto your PC uh, I'm not actually going to do that myself on here because it's something which most people can do as a standard procedure when you get other programs you can do it um, if you do that obviously what you come up with is your icon on the screen there which I'm going to click on I'm just going to click on it. Now you don't need any password to go into it so you just click on login and it just takes a moment to load up and um, the reason I'm only going to do a very very basic setup of this is because the CMS system is something you would use if you were going to maybe monitor several sets of cameras at different locations and this allows you to add different sets. Say you were, you were at home and you wanted to monitor a set of, of um, of a set of office equipment CCTV for argument's sake you could set that on there and you could then monitor it from home or vice versa you could have the have a, a camera set at home and monitor it from work at the same time right what happens is you come up with a screen like this now I actually have already got my uh, unit uh, actually connected up to it but to show you how to do it I've just deleted my uh, system which is on there and I'm just going to re-add it just to show you how to do it uh, first thing when you when you come up you'll open it up and you'll sign in like I've just done and you'll get these screens come up like that along the bottom here you've got a row of how many screens that you can choose on your screen I mean I've only got four cameras so I just need it on the four had I had two sets of camera systems connected I could have that one click I can have my normal cameras there and then the added ones in the other boxes if you've got several systems then you can have a lot more screens and so on but I'm just happy with a four. To add the actual camera system to this, your system, you need to go down to system on the bottom right hand side, come up to device manager, and then what you've got is you had to add an area. Now the area is where your cameras are located. Now in my case, because I've only got one set and I don't need to add any more, I'm just gonna locate the name as home. I just need to add area, sorry I should have clicked on that there and in the zone I'm just going to write home I can spell it and then click OK Right, so I'm now going to add the device so I just need to click on the home, highlight that click on the add device and it now comes up with this screen here now because I am within this system is all connected up to the same LAN system I actually do it through the cloud so I change, change it from the IP address to cloud if you go uh, getting your pictures from a, a camera which is on a separate IP address you would click that and it would ask you the details of that again that's not something I've done because it's not something I'm going to use and as I said this is just a very very basic setup so I now need to put my serial number of my unit in that box there which I'm just going to do off screen there we go I've just covered it up as well just to hide the idea of my cameras click on OK and it adds your camera there it's marked up as test at the moment so once you've got it you are added the system just click OK and then we need to come up here and double click on your added system and to get all your pictures I can now just take this off now if you just bear with me for a minute I can right click on there on the on the icon and I can just click on connect all videos and what it will do is it will now bring up all my pictures of all my cameras now if you had another system you could have one down there say with work location on it you could click on that open up those cameras and they would actually then fill in the extra spaces if you used one of these with the extra uh, picture so screens. From here I can pick on each individual picture if I want to. If I click on there I get one picture. I can then click on each camera and choose whichever one I want on the screen. I'm going to leave it on four. Um, you can actually record these pictures which actually the machine would do and down there it already has a video from today's date from 1027. If I wanted to play that back I would go to the playback icon over there 
and that would come up and I could just find the file I would just put the date in and the time uh, find the file pop it in up there and press the play and it will play that back and um, again I've not really had to use this to be honest with you so it's not something I've actually done myself much of so I'm just going to go back to system for a minute just get rid of that now if you wanted to actually get rid of this system it, just make sure all the cameras are switched off up there by just clicking on that closing it all down click on there and click delete and it will just ask you to make sure the cameras are switched off and then you can click OK and it will delete it um, again I wouldn't need to use that so I'm just going to leave them on there um, the, other th the only other thing I could find this is probably useful for is with remote configuration if you click on that you could actually um, change any configuration of your Sansco box from another place so as if I was say away on holiday and I had facilities to the CMS app I could load my system onto that PC and I can set all the camera systems if I say wanted to change my video motion settings while I was around holiday I can actually do that from a remote device that's the only chance I would probably ever get to use it um, but to be honest with you, I don't think I would. Ideal if you're in a situation where you're in two locations, fantastic. You know, you've got cameras in different locations, fantastic. But this is just a very basic setup, as I said. If you wanted to use it a little bit more, you'd have to go into that and get the other systems added on and then just work through the book to see how it works. But um, that's it for now. So hopefully that's helped a little bit. Um, if there's anything else you want to ask, uh, you can ask me. I will try and answer it. But beyond this, really, it's not something I know anything about. Uh, you'd probably have to look a little bit further, maybe contact Sansco or read the full user manual. So I'm going to say bye for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.